Welcome back. It is still Monday, January 5th, 2016. This is still your morning edition, I think. Last I checked, and I'm still Yale LV. So, crisis has struck the ski tourism industry in Europe. I am personally devastated about that. <laughs> Mainly in the form of absolutely no snow falling from the heavens and nothing at all to ski on. And maybe we'll see some ski. Around the Alps, where more than 200,000 people are seasonally employed by winter tourism business, this is starting to have severe economic implications. But not all is lost. Because it turns out there are quite a few exciting things one can do at a snowless ski vacation. Back from um, uh, Val, how, how do you say that name? Val Torrens. Val Torrens, thank you. In the French Alps, with some extreme solutions, we're joined in studio by extreme sports photographer Ami Weitzman. And I really, really am glad that you are here with us. What exactly did you shoot? First of all, we dived under the ice in Val Torrens Lake. Right. And then we did a high-speed uh, course on race, race course on on the ice on in um, a landforced driving school in Val Torrens. Then we took a glider and we fly flew uh, above the Val Torrens ski site. Now we can see uh, the race course on right. Val Torrens. Uh, you can come and you can join a race course race and high speed uh, cars on the ice with the special tires with spikes. With spikes and wow. Okay. And what? First of all, when you when you said you dove underwater, which I'm wondering if you have that, if you brought us those pictures of diving yes, underwater. Yes, uh, we have the footage. We have the footage of diving underwater. Okay. Now we can you can see the mountains without the eye or without the snow on the left side of Val Torrens. But remember, Val Torrens is one of the most highest station, ski station that you can still ski. You can still ski. You can still ski in Val Torrens be, because of the height. Okay. And I'm just this is the spikes we talked about. Those are the spikes. I'm just very much hoping to see those underwater shots, but I guess um, I don't know where they are. But you know what? For ski lovers, though, it's an interesting, and you, you were interested for us to speak to somebody over there as well. So for ski lovers, as yesterday saw some serious snow falling on the Swiss Alps, we are wondering if we can be... Okay. Um, okay. And now, when you, one goes out there and does something like this, right? Mm -hmm. My first question is why? Imagine that you go to a ski vacation and there is no snow. Mm -hmm. You cannot stay in the hotel and you can cry, you can cry. You said no snow, no. I probably would just drink, but yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd probably just sit in my hotel and you, just drink. You will look for other activities like this. We, go, we found the... Uh, okay, the it's used the ice diving, yes, hallelujah. Yes, the frozen lake in Val Torrens. Uh, you hike for uh, 20 minutes uh, on the snow and you find the lake. They did a hole in the lake in the morning and you just go inside the lake and dive. Uh, the dive is a different dive. You don't go down, you look up, you look at the snow, you look at the ice, uh, you see very different uh, forms of ice. Every uh, flex of ice is different. Uh, I'm still looking at this and wondering why would anybody want to do this? No, no, it, it looks <laughs> amazing. How incredibly it's amazing. Bloody cold is this? It's uh, two degrees. It's not so cold because you have a dry suit. No, 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 clearly, let's, I'm just, it's terrifying. So you get in, into the ice yes, from a hole. You can see the ice forms under, uh, the ice form, what, uh, what happened under, and you can see the people above you ski, and you can see the people above you snowboard, and you're still under the water. How <laughs> do you not get lost under that thing? Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, in the morning they are making six holes, you can see the holes, and there is a safety line. Uh, you attach uh, to the safety line. If something happens, they will pull you out. And, and usually, nothing happens on this kind of dive because it's only one and a half meter. Oh. Uh, the only thing, if you go out and it's cold, it's, it will be cold. But uh, this <laughs> on this on the last week when I was there, it was very hot. It was 16 degrees outside. It was very hot. And I think that's one of the main problems because the hope for ski lovers is, as you said, you know, you go, you want to ski, you want to see what's happening. But, you know, it hasn't been so great um, uh, over the course of the last several months. And joining us on the phone from Val Torrens, France, is Jérôme Grillet, director of the, the, and director general of Ski Lift Corporation, CTAM. Oh, lovely, and we can see you. Now, because I myself am one of these, you know, people from the generation who skis every winter, how bad has it been? How bad has it been over the course of this winter when it comes to, for, to, when it comes to ski fanatics who are going to, you know, running to the Alps? Not that much snow, right? Um, 
Uh, it is true for uh, Europe, but uh, not for Valterans, which is the highest ski resort in Europe. So the resort is located 2,300 meters high, and we have seven lifts which are going over 3,000 meters. That means that we are colder resort than the other one, right. and we have a little more snow than the other also. And uh, actually, the, we have 100% of our lifts which are open. For sure, we have only 75% of the slopes which are open. Uh, we have m most of them uh, has, uh, are closed because of avalanche danger. We are uh, getting a hell of snow uh, all this week. And uh, yes, uh, I was on the slope yesterday and it's uh, pretty good skiing there. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm very jealous of you, even though I have to admit that I'm, uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very, the only time I did ski, I slam, slalom straight into the tree. But thank you for joining us from the, um, uh, from the Ski Lift Corporation CTEM. Um, when it comes to, I mean, we had, we saw, you know, we saw underwater diving, whatnot. There's also paragliding, right? Yes, also paragliding. Usually, every ski site, every ski, ski station, have paragliding, and it's amazing uh, experience to Ooh. fly above, and we can see. You see the rocks. Yes. Um, Ami, not a lot Ami of does snow. that often. Ami what? paraglide. Rocks? You paragliding oh, yeah. in, the, yeah. in, the, in the snow. <laughs> now, because you know, my first claim, and I can say this on this show, that we're Jews. We don't ski. Yeah, but you, you know, can see the, ski. I snowboard. You snowboard. Oh, okay. Snow. <laughs> you can see the peaks. The peaks are full of snow, and like he said, the man uh, from Val Torrens. I mean, like the uh, man from Val Torrens. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> most most of the most of the slopes are open. He said 70 uh, 70 percent of the slopes and Val Torrens are open. Because it's the highest place. But I'm wondering, you know, all these ski resorts below. I'm assuming that's it's, global they're warming. Closed. If they're done, it's, they're, they're all closed. closed. What about all these, uh, you know, winter tournaments that they have, skiing tournaments? They have to all shut that down and cancel when, events. When I was there, there was a big turn, tournament to ski uh, something where high speed uh, downhill, yeah. and um, they all night they were uh, moving uh, shuffled snow. snow from one side to another side, yeah. and they did the tournament. But you can see the, the mountains are no, empty with bare, yeah. no, snow. No, no snow. snow. no snow. Well, maybe they'll push more people to come the, to the tranquil waters and the peaceful zen that is the Middle East. Middle East, yeah. Do yeah. some water skiing. The water skiing in that respect. But, it's, but, it's, but you can still enjoy uh, Val Torrens and all the ski sites with other activities like bungee, in, uh, ba down, downhill bungee. Uh, driving on the ice, uh, diving on the ice in Tin and in Val Torrens. Uh, there is a lot of other activities that can, you can do. That, that, that one can do. I wonder if it's cheaper now. Yeah. They go we, we cheaper now yeah. is bungee. Oh. Ah, oh. wait, that's wait, that's snow bungee. Snow bungee. That's in, uh, that's Lac insanely Luzer, ridiculous. In a ah. site called Lac Luzer. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what you do, Ami, right? Yeah, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Yeah, that's me right there. Whoa! No, don't do it! It's a special bungee. Yes. In a, a ski site called Lac Luzer. Very low ski site, but very, very nice ski site. No, no, and that's, and that's great. It's bungee. amazing. Ma this is fundamentally the, insane. Yeah, this job um, is amazing. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at that. Wow, yeah. No, 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 yes. Bungee jumping on the snow. But the, do, does this person eventually hit the snow? No, the no, snowboard? no. no. This, is, this is me. It's eh? just... And Bob's Edge. That's you? That's and you? Bob's, yeah. Yes! <laughs> Bob's and Bob's Yes! I'm remind this bobsledge, uh, I think, two months ago about the Jamaican team. Exactly, exactly. We talked about we talked, it. Exactly, the Jamaican team that did the, the, the bobsledding. And the okay, the bobsledge in La Plan, uh -huh. <laughs> one of the ski sites in France also, and it's, uh, I, I reached uh, 98 km per hour. Wow. It's amazing. Uh, Are you steering? No, no, <laughs> you're steering with your, with your body. With your body? You're steering with your body, but... I... Uh, you just uh, you pray and go with down. Your body. Wow. Wow. Do you, are you, is one supposed to be a certain weight to do this? Uh, no. No, it no. is. Yeah. Okay. You have um, a slide like I did, and you have a bobsledge that is four people and a pilot, and it goes 120 km per hour. Wow. But you don't see the road. You put your head down, and on this kind of sledge, you can see the road and you can see the, the track. How does one become you? How did, you know, really, I, I want that job. Ami, mean, don't <laughs> yeah. you want this job? Totally, I love it. I, I want, want this I want job. I want that one, that's yeah. fine. And, wow. and you, you get, um, I think in the curves, you get five Gs on you. That's why I don't have uh, air. You can see that I'm trying to breathe. 
Ah, yeah. so, so it's really hard to, God. It's, it's very hard to read on the curves. On right. the curves, I think it's, it's going to five. So you just take a breath before the curve. And and, and but like it's this? only for two seconds, so it's not a lot. It's not like a pilot going to G. Uh, going to G, so it's yeah. just hard, yeah. Oh, my, yeah. I so would. we can do that. We have a lot of activities to do in, uh, in no, ski sites. In, 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 entirely, and like that G run and the bungee jumping, which I was just born for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, <laughs> I think it is time. I think Ami will join me next for the next trip. I, I think we should I, send I Ami I with you. I think you should. Paragliding, yeah. exactly. I will. Yes. I'll do it. No, no, entirely. <laughs> uh,